Summer month is gone, interest rate is coming down, 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 and prices are still holding their grounds. So let's talk. It's Manny Baga with the Baga team from Roll Page Magnet. Hey, it's Shivani Baga, and let's talk about what happened in September 2024. Well, it was a crazy roller coaster month for the last couple of months. I, I noticed, and I'm, that same thing with the, all the buyers and sellers, are the sea feel the same energy. I want to know if you kindly unfold all the blanks and tell us what's actually really happening because there's a scarcity in the mindset of buyers are increasing because the inventory is still coming but it started taking more time why and can you give us some more numbers of what happened in september month absolutely let's see what's going on we are now right into fall Summer is behind us, and let's see where this fall market is gonna take us into winter. Overall, in a nutshell, every single category in the Edmonton real estate market has gone up. So selling prices have gone up year over year, which is a positive sign for all of our sellers. But let's take a little bit of a deep dive into all of the categories and see individually where our stats are sitting at. All right. All right. So if we go our all residential selling price for September 2024, the average is sitting at $440,000. Month over month, that's an increase of 1.2%. However, year over year, we're seeing an 11.7%. So from September of 2023 to September of 2024, we're seeing almost 12% increase in our average selling price all across our residential properties, which is a good sign. So a lot of people that were thinking Hey, you know what? Is my, if I purchased this property last year, is the value of it going to be going up? The answer is right here for you. Yes, it did. Well, close to 12% actually. Now, if we jump from our all residential and we look at our detached single family, the average selling price right now is sitting at $553,000 with a month over month increase of 1.3% and year over year, we're sitting at 11.9%. Wow. Pretty wild, hey? Our detached single family properties have gone up again, close to 12%. And I mean, myself and Manny, we've seen it whenever we're running our CMAs for any of our clients and we're reassessing them from where the value was from last year relative to where we are sitting right now. I would say our numbers are pretty spot on with that increase. So it's a good sign for you guys, whoever is looking to sell at this time. Um, however, again, for our buyers, this is a good wake up call to show you that as much as you guys are thinking, oh, I'm gonna wait till the interest rates are gonna go down and I'm gonna purchase at this time. You saw what happens. Our interest rates went down this year, but our prices are still slowly creeping up. We don't think, and Manny, I want to get your two cents on it as well, but we don't think that this is going to be a trend that's going to fall. So next year, we're probably going to see a very, very similar pace of our market. So if you guys are thinking, hey, I'm going to wait till spring, I'm going to wait till our prices go down because my interest rates are going to go down. Here is your biggest clue on where we're going to see our market go next year. All right. right. I 100% I, I agree with you because a lot, a lot of people, they are just only waiting that more interest rates going to go down and then and, uh, it's, it's, like a, it's a seesaw, right? Yeah. If the interest rates going to go down, the price is going to go up. That's, that's a normal uh, way of thinking the market. But again, but it's not applied to all segments. I, I look at it, it's not supply. It, it, this, this formula doesn't apply to every, uh, every place. But again, as uh, Shivani, look at it, detached homes and it does uh, make a big, big difference. So let's, Shivani, jump into our semi-detached and then we'll do our final conclusion. Absolutely. Let's jump into our semi-detached properties. The average selling price for semi-detached properties is sitting at $413,000. Month over month decrease of 0.3%, so not too much. But year over year, this is our highest category spike of 16.8% which is absolutely wild. So roughly over close to 17%, we're seeing an increase in any of our semi-detached properties, which is really, really good sign for our sellers, um, but buyers, wake up call, there should be some red, red buzzing that's all coming around you is if your semi-detached properties are increasing within one year, close to 17%, imagine what their prices are going to be next year. 
Hundred percent, because it does it is a drug correlated. Because uh, the what is a semi detached? First of all, it's just like those half duplex. Yep. The properties has a garages at the back, or they have a row houses which does not have any condo fees. That is a very high demand and more desirable property. And also, if you're looking at the price range, they are in between uh, three hundred to four fifty in that range. That is a very high demand, and that's why those increments in the numbers are speak itself that myself or Shivani does not need to justify that hey that range is going up i think that's the number one product is is in that place if you and the same um, i can say row i think you are have a very upper hand to to cash out and one of the best uh, increment on a seller side absolutely but on a, on, on a buying side you are facing the bidding wars as well as too which is normal. Okay. <laughs> so let's jump into our row homes and our townhouses. The average selling price is sitting at 293,000. Month over month increase of 0.7% and year over year increase of 9.6%. And jumping into our apartments and condos, the average selling price is sitting at $200,000 with a month over month decrease of 2.3% and year over year increase of 9.6%. So that wraps up pretty much every single category in our residential properties, as well as a nutshell of what's going on overall. I think I, I really, really um, interested to see that how how a detached home or semi-detached home and row house and townhouses and apartment play a big role. So just like you said, that detached homes are only 1.3% went month over month. Yeah. And then on a semi-detached is 0.3 minus. Yeah. And then row houses, it's 0.7% up. And then look at the apartment and uh, condos, 2% down. Yeah. Right. So so it's a play a very big role which category you are. A lot of people ask and say, hey, how's the market? It depends which 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 market you are. Are you yeah. an apartment owner? Are you a semi-detached or luxury home or whatever that may be? So I think that's that's going to be a bigger role play in, in the stats what we unfold today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so as a nutshell, take it as even though our interest rates are coming down, our prices of homes are slowly coming up. We're seeing that slowly, slowly, that 1% to 2% month over month. But hey, nonetheless, we're still pretty steady, even though we're coming into our fall months. Absolutely correct. So what's so, going on with our days on market? All right. Well, uh, let's uh, switch gear. Uh, come to the come to the seller side. So to find out, first of all, we have a total 5,701 homes available in Greater Edmonton. That's a total inventory. We have it. If people say, hey, how many homes we have it in for total Greater Edmonton? 5,701. How many new properties came in last month? 3,215 listings got listed in Edmonton in one month. So if you're looking at it in dissect, over 100 homes come brand new every day. Yeah. It's not the point there's a lack of inventory. It's not lack of properties are not coming. So over 100 homes jump and drop into the market every day. To total inventory from January till today, we're looking at a year to date is that over 30,000 homes just came in the market. That, that's the total inventory, which is 6.4% inventory is high. And then in the month over month, it's a decrease 4.6%. That is normal. If I'm sitting in, in the month of September, market is um, inventory is coming down. That is normal every month for a coming out another three months, it's gonna be going down. That's a seasonal effect. No need to stress out, no need to worry about it. But now let's flip the coin uh, on now that we see the inventory of how many property got sold we have 2256 property got sold so if you're looking at a 3215 listing game and 2256 property got sold that is 12.6 percent property got sold less month over month which is normal again if the if the inventory is gone down like 4.6 percent and on the same token of month over month is like a 12.6 percent that is a normal way it's going to come down and our total inventory got sold till today 23 thousand property got sold which is 10 percent 10 percent is higher than year over year okay wow. so that's 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 a little bit outside so every month if it's a 2256 property got sold in between 70 to 80 homes got sold every day if more than 100 property comes in a new 
out of 70 to 80 property got sold every day as yeah. list. So that's a stat for the whole month where we're sitting at it. But let's flip the coin. Um, right now, days in the market, Shivani. Detached home last year was sitting 42. Now we're sitting at 37 days. Um, looking at semi-detached homes, they are sitting at 37. Now it's coming 30 days. Okay, last year till this year. Row houses and townhouses. Last year was sitting at 42, sitting at 36 days. Um, apartment and condos last year was sitting 54. Now it's sitting at a 45 days. And if we combine everything, if all the people are, are watching in, in Edmonton, Vancouver, Toronto, and all across in Edmonton, in normal, all residential, last year was taking 44 days to sell. Now we're sitting at close to 38 days. So everything is creeping down um, in the days uh, sense uh, or so. But hey, I, I, I see that a lot of people are also seeing that, hey, my, my property's been on the market six day, 60 days mm -hmm. or 70 days is not selling. So we'll definitely chat back again before we can jump on that side. So that's that's a wrap up of, of the inventory, sales, and days on the market. And I think, Shivani, if I can come back to you, that what will be the one of the best tip you can give it to all the buyers? One of my best tips right now is going to be, if you are gonna be purchasing, think outside of the box. Don't just think, look at the price. Maybe think about where you're purchasing. Try to look at neighborhoods that are going under revitalization, properties that might be a little bit older that you may need to put a little bit of work into, but that community is thriving. So that's something that I am really gonna throw out there. We haven't really talked a lot about that, but I'm happy to discuss that one-on-one -on -one if anybody did have any questions. But overall, don't just look at the price, look at the neighborhood because Edmonton is growing and it's growing fast. So potentially think about areas that you haven't thought about otherwise and areas that have a lot of revitalization and a lot of refurbishing and a lot of growth potential. I think I, I totally agree with your with your tip, but on the other side, I'm gonna quickly uh, uh, touch base with you what happened to high rollers. In last one, the detached home, $2,490,000 is that is the most expensive property got sold. Semi-detached, $846,000. Row houses and tan houses, 608. And apartment and condos, most expensive, it was sold for 830. My tip for all the sellers, okay? I know summer's gone, we are going towards um, uh, winter, everybody say, Oh, winter's coming. We're not going to sell that. We're not going to think about it. There's so nobody's out there. Hey, don't ever think about it. If you are thinking that, hey, I want to sell the property in October, November, December, there is a buyer outside there. But the benefit of those, those people, if you're looking at it, the inventory is going to go drops down. You will have a high potential buyer in the mm -hmm. market who is paying you and, and finding a right property. If they find the right property, they jump like crazy on the market so but that's my best tip for you guys if you guys have any questions if you guys think that hey where I'm sitting today what, what impact on to the, my property happen value team is dedicated to get you all the pricing doesn't matter you wanted to get a a comparable market analysis you wanted to see where you're sitting and what happened gonna be in future call us today we are here to help you guys out where are they gonna contact us Shivani 780-431-5615 or visit our website www.manibaga.com Hey, 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 don't forget to share if you think that this video is more valuable to us. Number two, please hit the bell button so we can bring that video every month in your inbox. That is very important for you. This channel is only for you, not to capture, not to you to just deliver the value. But again, thank you guys for watching this video. Stay blessed, stay smiling, and I'll see you guys next month. See you later, guys.